Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Walgreens exclusive Ant-Man figure. Uh, people have been calling it the Black Ant-Man. I've been hearing that a lot, but it is the Walgreens exclusive. You can only find it at Walgreens for all my mitten box collectors. Here's what it looks like. Pretty basic 2015 Marvel Legends setup here. On the back they have a little glossy image of the actual figure, but I'm already seeing mistakes that they've made in the figure and the paint. This is what it's supposed to look like. I can see it through the package. Um, if you'd like, you can pause that right up here right now, but by the time I get done explaining this, you've probably already read it if you haven't paused it, so maybe pause it and it's not even worth it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this is the Eric O'Grady version of Ant-Man, if you paused it, which now I'm wondering why I told you to pause it in the first place, because... I've already read it out. Anyways, let's open it up. So this Ant-Man figure uses the same mold that we've been seeing with the recent releases of the Spider-Man figures. The uh, Pete Spider-Man, where he's holding the piece of pizza in his hand. That's the mold we got here, which is uh, good and bad. Mostly good. Uh, most of the flaws in this figure are going to lie in the paint apps. Some of them are very noticeable and unfortunate. Some you're probably not going to notice unless I told you. For instance, here in the eyes, they're supposed to be all of this kind of orange, bright orange, but you get some white in there. But the box art proves that this is all supposed to be orange. You're not supposed to be seeing any white there in the head sculpt at all. Um, other than that, I had to look through and sift through the three Ant-Man figures they had there to find the one with the best face sculpt and without the, the least errors. This one's pretty good. Some of the other ones had some pretty ugly errors on them, so... Make sure you're checking out and you're getting the best look in one. Um, throughout the figure, the paint apps are, are they're pretty good. The main flaw, though, is we're getting what I like to call the, the X-Men paint effect from the X-Men box set where you're able to see some of the black shining through the red. It's not horrible, but you can see a little bit in the chest. And again, I did pick the best one of the best paint apps. I looked through the other figures there because some of them had really, really bad paint apps on them and you could see the black through the chest on those figures uh, mine's not too bad but uh, you know but check them out you may look like a nerd sitting there with your face right next to the box looking at them for 10 minutes but at least you spent your twenty dollars wisely um, he's got a little belt here not sure how accurate to the design that is um, just some pretty basic stuff there these look like the superior spider-man gauntlets right there. I'm not sure how accurate this is to the comics at all, but I do like the mold and design overall. It's pretty cool looking. He looks badass. The head articulation, he can look down super far. He can look back really good too. He does the exorcist really well. We get the butterfly joint here, which is funny because he is an ant. Shoulders go up that far. They go down that far. They will do a 360. Uh, we got an upper bicep swivel here, double jointed elbows, a little bit of light there. We get a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. And uh, something really cool I want to say is that there's a guy on Instagram named Pitcher Attic, and he found that you can replace the hands of the Marvel Legends Superior Spider Man with these hands and get some, you know, a few more hand sculpts out of them. Just some food for thought. The same problem I had with the Spider Man ab crunch is that this isn't really even an ab crunch it's more of a diaphragm articulation more than anything an ab crunch is in the abs this is in the diaphragm it's way too high it looks pretty freaking awkward it is good articulation he does get a lot of range of motion out of it but it's just it's definitely in the wrong spot of the body he has a waist swivel his legs will kick up that far but they only kick back that far not much at all upper bicep swivel they don't kick out very far either which is surprising you got double jointed knees here no swivel here or anywhere and then we get the ankle rockers on a hinge some pretty great articulation overall I really do like this figure quite a bit I love the design the antennas and everything just make sure you're looking at those boxes closely and that you're getting the the best Ant-Man figure that your store has to offer you. One with the best paint apps. Check out the face really well. I saw a lot of problems with the eyes and with the paint showing through there. So make sure you're checking that kind of stuff out. Um, other than that, 
I, I would recommend it. It's a solid figure. It stands pretty well and the mold's really good. Paint apps are great for a $20 figure. Um, this is a Walgreens exclusive, but Big Bad Toy Store has the rest of the Ant-Man line. You can check out the link in the description below if you're interested. Other than that, guys, uh, I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you have a great day. Peace out.